I know you can't make predictions. I know that we sort of touched on a, f- a few of those projections in the future, but regarding leftism in particular and their ability to maybe use the energy of this movement to move in the directions and to talk about the subjects that you're discussing, do you sense that that's going to happen at all? Or, or like, what do you, what do you, I guess, maybe a better question would be, what is your general sense of where this movement is going? Is it going to fizzle out um, as a result of these decisions by Macron to to go back on that tax hike, to raise the minimum wage? I mean, do you think that this movement is going to fizzle out or do you think it's going to grow and encompass uh, a broader section of the population of France? I guess I could ask that to read first. <laughs> so, you know, not to, not to sound very dire, but... Um... You know, I think the Gilets Jaunes is, is, is the equivalent of an infection on a, on a dying body. And the question is whether or not this infection will kill the body or if we're waiting for another infection that will do that. Um, you, you know, like, I, I, it's impossible to know whether or not this will be the one that kills it. Um, you know, the, the Loire Trovail protests um, a few years ago, those really should have been what killed... Um, the, the French capitalist order, um, you know, and, and those were, those, those were done by the socialist candidate or the socialist president, you know, um, on behalf of the banks, just like Macron is, is, is working on behalf of the banks as well. Um, you know, it, it's, I think, I suspect we'll see more of this sort of thing. I don't, I don't expect that the Gilets Jaunes will, will, will topple Macron any more than he's already toppled. Um, but, but again, I, I think the more interesting questions is, is, you know, who's, who's next, who's, who's coming next, who's going to, who's going to jump into the, the void of power that, uh, Macron will be leaving. And I really honestly think it's going to be the far right. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Ali, do you have any insights? <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I think Macron is, is deluding himself if he thinks that, you know, what he's given up in the past week is going to silence it. And, you know, it's like he's playing a game and it's a tricky game. Um, you know, the thing is, the majority of the French public, they're, they're split on this movement. As well. I mean, it, it's interesting, you know, like the, the polls kind of show the degree to which, you know, as opposed to Americans, you know, the French can, can think very nuanced, you know. Um, the polls basically show that the majority of people support the reason they're out there. Um, about the same amount of people disapprove of the violence. And yet the same amount of people are also very worried as to where this will lead, but they still support it. So, you know, we're, we're in this like, yeah, it's kind of this liminal place where, you know, and, and, and you know, the game Macron is playing right now. You know, if he wants nothing more than to crack down on it to the point where it does not surface again, you know, and, and every single weekend we've seen a sharper response by the police state here. Um, and, if, you know, and, and with that, you know, again, it's frustrating to watch here because, you know, I'm, I'm watching way too many, you know, between the, the Facebook pages and the, the American leftist websites who are seeing this as a revolution happening. And no, it's, it's not. You know, the one thing I will say that this is not going to lead to a revolution. That's that's not what this is. The vast majority of people out there do not want revolution. They want reform. They want a lot more than what Macron gave. You know, Macron's playing a game where he thinks that because he just threw them a few crumbs, that is going to give him kind of the, you know, the authority in terms of public approval to now crack down incredibly violently this coming Saturday. Um, I think, you know, he's also trying to discourage the folks from protesting further. But if anything, you know, they are in an opposite position. They're, they're you know, they're, they're in many ways even angrier now, even more offended now that that's all he gave, which is interesting because, you know, you, I mean, again, I see all these, you know, like memes on Facebook, which are like, see what happens when you protest, you get what you want. And I'm like, that's not what he wants. <laughs> no, no. Right, that's right. Not, you know, and I, I saw many articles are basically like, look, they won. And I'm just like, you have no, <laughs> like, just stop. Just, you know, and that's, you know, the, the side thing for me, it's been just so painful for me watching this be interpreted, looking through an American cultural lens. You Everybody's know, it's, it's jumping like, over each other, trying to have something 
to say and trying to use it. And when exactly, know, and none of them know what they're talking about because none of them understand French cultural history. None of them understand the material conditions that cause this. You know, they, they don't under. They are totally looking through it through like this American leftist, like you know, metaphorical hard on for riot porn angle. And, you know, and then again, the more moderate, you know, publications, yeah, they're just, I'm just reading all this stuff. Look, they won. Isn't that amazing? And I'm just like, no, they're going to be out there in full force, than, more force than ever <laughs> this coming Saturday. You know, and Macron also, he, he gave a good hint, you know, in the same speech where, you know, he, he, he raised the minimum wage and he decided to, you know, get rid of the tax on overtime. You know, he, he then looked in the camera and said, we need to have a long national discussion on migration. And that was his acknowledgement that he thinks the right is going to come out victorious as well. That was him yeah. trying to push the right wing, um, which, frankly, is just going to further inflame the left wing elements of this movement. And I think you will see, you know, a huge rise up again come this Saturday. You know, Macron's going to want to crack down on it. If he does crack down on it, his public approval is going to plummet even further. You know, I mean, I don't think he'll resign just because he's just so fucking arrogant. Like, he doesn't care. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> he's, not, he's, he's another one. He's an arrogant narcissist, you know. He's, he's, I mean, in many ways, he's very different from Trump. But in many ways, he's very, very, very similar. And I do not see him backing down. Um, but I do. But he sees where the wind is blowing and the wind is, is blowing slightly towards Le Pen. I can only hope that because that has now been acknowledged by the president, that the left will come out more in full force and try to swing it to the other side. But whether that happens or not, it's not it's not a revolution. You know, I, I agree with Reed. Like you're, you're seeing the dying gasps, you know, it, something may fall. But this isn't about the, the workers. Workers aren't about to take over and, and declare socialism. You know, like that. That's just <laughs> and watching the fact that, that people seem to think that is really, really painful and just, you know, really shows me the degree to which they're not grasping what's actually going on here and why it's going on. You know, and, and frankly, it's like, you know, otherwise respectable, you know, groups and, and people and, and, and organizations are kind of making fools of themselves in, in what they're saying. Right now, and that's been, I mean, I, I've been taking, you know, really, really close notes of just what everyone, you know, and I, I've caught, you know, from, from just la ridiculously lazy journalism coming out of, you know, the CNN, New York Times, you know, dear CNN, the CGT is not a movement, it's a trade union. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just been amazing. But then again, you know, so you've seen what like Earth First is saying, seeing what all these leftist publications are saying, and it's just like, you know, none of you know what you're talking about. And, you know, for me, like when I don't know what I'm, what I'm talking about, I shut up, you know, I'm not going to go in a football bar and start talking about first downs because I don't know what that is. You know? <laughs> I don't know what that is, you know, and I'm just like looking at all these people just like, you know, this is when you really need to like sit down. You know, you want to learn what's happening. Google Translate will translate any article from French media for you. So why don't you open up like <laughs> Nouvelle Aube or open up Liberation, open up some French uh, news publications where you have people on the ground explaining this, translate into fucking English and educate yourself on what's actually going on as opposed to like, like looking through your American lens and, and, you know, trying to interpret this when really you have no freaking clue what you're talking about. And unfortunately far too many people are listening to you because you're otherwise do know what you're talking about when it comes to American politics. And that's just, you know, that's been the most frustrating thing. You know, I feel like I've just spent like a full-time job for the past month, just correcting people on the internet that are just like so <laughs> determined to either assign their meaning to this or play like, you know, political pundit. And it's just like, you know, this, this, <laughs> this isn't the democratic party. Okay. You don't know what you're talking about. And, well, you know, I, yeah. I, I think people are going to be kind of disappointed on the American left when they see how this resolves. And I don't know how it's going to resolve. But again, you know, we're not we're not a weekend away from a socialist worker state, I promise you. And whatever does fill in, you know, the, the power vacuum, it's going to be chaotic and it's not necessarily going to be much better for anyone, at least in the short term. Mm -hmm.